A shipping clerk wishes to determine the weights of each of five boxes. Each box weighs a different integer amount less than 100 kilograms. Unfortunately, the only scales available measure weights in excess of 100 kilograms. The clerk, therefore, decides to weigh the boxes in pairs so that each box is weighed with every other box. The weights for the 10 pairs of boxes are, in kilograms, 110, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 120, and 121. From this information, the clerk can determine the weight of each box. What are the weights of each of the five boxes? The first thing we can presume, because each of the boxes are a different weight, is that A is less than B is less than C, which is less than D, which is less than E. Since we have the two smallest, we can presume A plus B equals the smallest number, which the smallest amount, which is 110. We can then say the second smallest ones are A and C. So we can say A plus C is the second smallest one, which is 112. We can also say that we know the two biggest ones, D and E, will be the biggest sum, 121. And we know that C, or, yeah, C plus E will be the second largest sum, and it will be 120. Now, since we know that A plus C and A plus B, since A is a constant, C is too larger than B. We now know that if you added C and B together, if you add something that's too different, that's too away, you, it's either adding two odd numbers or two even numbers, which must produce an even number. Therefore, B plus C cannot produce the next amount, which is 113. So we have to say that A plus D is 113. After this, we can say that B plus C next is going to be 114. Now we're going to add these two equations together. So we're going to have 2A plus B plus C equals 222. Since we know that B plus C is 114, we can say 2A plus 114 is 222. After that, we can subtract 114 from two sides, 2a equals 108. We get, and then after that, we can just divide both sides by 2 and have a equals 54. So we know that the weight of the first box is 54, but now it's time to find the weight of the other boxes. So what we're going to do is get a plus b and get 110, which is the sum, and subtract a from both sides. We can do the same thing with C. We can do the same thing with D. But we don't know what A plus E is. So what we do is go to D plus E, and since we know the value of D is 59, we can say 59 plus E is 121. So now we have the weight of all five boxes.